What's up everybody and welcome back to another gold making video. Today we're going to be going over the loot that I received from 100 runs of Scarlet Monastery. Now I really like Scarlet Monastery. It's a very short and sweet dungeon. It takes me probably 22 to 23 minutes to complete all 10 runs. And then it's really <laughs> the hard part is waiting on the dungeon lockouts to reset. So that's why I have two speech ruins. Uh, but before we get into it, uh, I just wanted to show for anybody who's not aware this, unfortunately, it does not show any of the scarlet pieces, but if you have all the things you can go and look at the zone drops and you can actually show it like if it, you have learned it as well, you can have that as an option, but it will show you all of the different, at least these are some weapons, some shoulder pieces, uh, most of the things that can drop in here, it should be showing all. I'm not sure if I have something wrong on my settings and it doesn't show the scarlet pieces. Or maybe it's not specific to Scarlet Monastery. Maybe it's like a, a zone thing. Um, but anyway, you can kind of see a good sampling of what you can get from there. And there are some really, really rare items in here. I almost want to equate it to Oldman, but Oldman really, to take 10 runs or to do 10 runs of it, it really does take an hour. Whereas this, at least, like, it's only 22 minutes and it's much faster. Uh, but I mean, the, the quality or the level of the items, like the rarity is, is still absolutely there. You also can go to a Scarlet Monastery. Like when I was doing my 100 runs, I was really hoping for some of the just roll drop epics. Uh, for example, the skull flame shield. Unfortunately, I did not get the skull flame shield, but I've gotten it there. I think at least once or twice. Very, very nice though. But I have, um, I was really hoping for one of the Scarlet pieces. That also did not happen. So we're going to have to come back in here again. Uh, but let's go over the loot that I received. So I kept a lot of items. I kept a lot of greens here. We can close that bag for now. So I just kept like some miscellaneous patterns that were above 1k that had a pretty decent sell rate. Um, I think probably the greens that were the most worth it would be the silver thread robes here. They're going for really, really high on my server. I'm not sure why they're going for 100k, but I mean, even just the region market value of 24k is not bad for these. I ended up getting three. Uh, I don't think there was anything else that was really fantastic. Uh, silver thread armor here. I got only one. It's going for a region market value of 22k. Uh, I... Like I said, I was kind of disappointed with the greens. There was nothing that I was like, wow, I can't believe that I got those to drop. Um, so let's look at the blues that I got. We'll close out the rest of these. So I did end up getting, since I talked about world drop epics, uh, I did not talk about world drop patterns. I did end up getting the guardian belt pattern. I was completely surprised by this because of, during those 10 runs, like everything else was just awful. And I was like, well, this is just like, these 10 runs are going to give me absolutely nothing. And then I think on the 10th run there before my dungeon lockouts, uh, I got the guardian belt pattern. So it has a region market value of 177k. I'm pretty pleased I didn't have one of, of these on my auction house already. So it is a very, very low sell rate here at 0.005. Um, but again, you just really need that one buyer who's interested. I also got five dungeon specific blues here. Uh, probably the most exciting one is the beguiler robes. They do share an appearance with something else. So this is also going to be a hard sell. Look at that sell right there is 0 0.001. Um, but they are going for actually below the region market value on my server. Region market is 200 K. Next up is the blood spiller. It is a unique item. Uh, it is going for a region market value of 100K, a lot cheaper on my server at 48K. Watchman pauldrons are, they share a lot of appearances. So 25K region market value, very low sell rate as well. Blo uh, the butcher here, the butcher is a <laughs> region market value of 70K and it is a unique appearance here. Uh, Pretty neat one here. Unfortunately, it, there must be a lot of people selling this on my server because it is going for 15k. And then finally, we got the Cobalt Crusher here. Uh, unique appearance as well. Uh, pretty neat. I'll have to learn that one. Uh, 318k region market value. Absolutely wild there. Going for 100k on my server. I think Beguiler robes, yeah, they're not unique. Is the blood spiller? Yes. Okay. Blood spiller, 
kind of an okay item there. Watchman Pauldron's nothing to write home about since it shares so many appearances. We already looked at the butcher. I think we're good. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Like I'm just from the blue items alone, I think it's worth it. Like obviously the Watchman Pauldron's, I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm I'm happy to have some up on the auction house, but I, <laughs> I would not be pleased if they dropped again so soon. I still will continue farming Scarlet Monastery just because I have the goal of at least seeing one of the super items drop. I think I got the Silver Blade like years ago, uh, but I would love to see some of the others drop, especially the Scarlet pieces. Um, next up on my 100 runs, I am going to go into Mana Tombs. So if you are interested in videos like this, please stay tuned there. Um, and then if you are interested in any other dungeons, write in the comments below if you uh, <laughs> have a, a certain dungeon in mind for me to do 100 runs of. And you know what? You can say no, but it's fine. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, good luck if you plan to do 100 runs of Scarlet Monastery yourself. Good luck with that. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.